Welcome to Deep Tutors YouTube channel, where we teach you everything you need to know about financial markets and making money online. I am so excited to have you and can't wait to share my knowledge and experience with you because I've been in the market since 2017. Now, if you're looking to learn how to invest wisely, grow your wealth, and create a successful online business, then you have come to the right place. Our videos are designed to both be informative and engaging, providing you with the practical tips and strategies that can help you to implement right away. So if you want to stay ahead of the game and take control of your financial future, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on the post notification. Now you won't afford to miss the next video coming. All you need to do is to stay connected. Now, thanks for stopping by and see you in the video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to qualify the ZK Sync airdrop. Now, ZK Sync airdrop is going to be something very huge. I've actually done a video about ZK Sync airdrop in this channel about one year ago, but this is an update on what you can do. And for people who have not done anything, this is also another opportunity for you to partake in this free money. You know, Arbitrum airdrop was so amazing. I was able to get over 3,500 Arbitrum, and Arbitrum went as high as $10. Now you can actually do the calculation it was amazing i can tell you it was an amazing five figure it was amazing so this is another opportunity for you to partake in this free money so guys i'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year and i want you to help me to achieve that by clicking on the subscribe button click on the like button and turn on the post notification because why you can't afford to miss any of my videos about airdrops and so many other cryptocurrency pick i'm going to be sharing in this channel because i'm going to be dropping videos every single week about airdrop and how you can make money in the cryptocurrency space now the first thing you need to do is to connect your metamax you need metamax to be able to access this airdrop that is why it is very important i advise anybody to have a metamax wallet so if you don't have a metamax wallet i have a video on this channel where i talked about how to you know open a metamax you can check the link of that video in the description below so you can have access to that video by opening your MetaMax and activating your MetaMax account so you can access so many other airdrops. So let's go to other steps that can help you to qualify for this ZK Sync upcoming airdrop. Now, the, the next thing you need to do, this is the second thing you need to do, is you need to come to ZK Sync 1.0 mainnet. So you need to come to this place to be able to bridge your Ethereum on the layer one to this layer two. Now, for you to do that, you need to go to this website light.zkcing.io so i'll also provide the link of this website in the description below so once you come here you need to connect to your ethereum wallet you have what you are doing is to bridge your ethereum that is already on the layer one you bridge it to the layer two and you have to have your ethereum on your metamax already you need to have ethereum on your metamax for you to be able to do that you can send your ethereum from binance or any of the cryptocurrency exchange of your choice but the main thing is to move your ethereum from layer one to layer two so the next thing to do is to click on connect ethereum wallet then you choose metamask this is options of some of the wallets you can use but metamask is widely used everywhere so click on it all right so we are connecting to ethereum layer one blockchain so you can see we're actually trying to connect to ethereum layer one blockchain so when you come here the next thing to do is to click on top up so click on top up then you scroll down these are so many options you can use to top up to uh, in this platform. Then you scroll down. You can also use Bybit, but for you to be able to be eligible for this airdrop, it is advised for you to use ZK Sync. So it's advised for you to use ZK Sync Bridge to bridge your Ethereum from layer one to ZK Sync, ZK Sync layer layer two. It's advised for you to use ZK Sync to be able to bridge it. Click on it. So once you click on it, it will bring you here. So this is where you type the Ethereum you want to put in. As you can see, I have some balance of Ethereum. So all you need to do is to type maybe 0 0.01 of your choice, anything of your choice. So you can see, just type the number of Ethereum you have here. After doing that, let's say for example, let's say you want to send um, 0 0.5 Ethereum. So once you put that, you click on top up. So you, once you click on top up, it will, it will take you to your metamax where you need to approve the transaction remember 
what you're actually investing in is gas fee. So all you need to do is just to click on confirm, but I'm not clicking on confirm because why? I've actually done this. I'm actually showing you how to do this. So after doing this, after doing this, once your Ethereum al arrives on your layer two, on your ZK Sync layer two wallet, next thing for you to do is for you to mint NFT. So you see the option of NFT, click on it. So once you click that option of NFT, you can see mint NFT, you click on mint NFT. So once you click on mint NFT, you scroll down, all you need to do is to pay gas fee. You can see the gas fee here, 0.12 cents, very cheap. So you just need to, you know, authorize it, but I'm not doing it because I don't have any funds on my ZK sync. I've actually withdraw my money out. So that's the second thing you need to do. Now, the third thing you need to do is for you to make trade on zigzag exchange for you to make trade on zigzag exchange this is zigzag exchange all you need to do is to go to a website called trade.zigzag.exchange also know that i'll put all the links of these things on the description below so you can easily have access to them then the next thing for you to do is to click on connect wallet you need to connect wallet and make sure you are on zk sync light you can see you you can also see the option of arbitrum but make sure you are on zk sync light live to make sure you are actually connected to the right network for you to perform the transaction now, after connecting your zigzag exchange to your wallet now the next thing for you to do in this platform is for you to make a trade you just need to make a trade for example we have already breached our ethereum from layer one to layer two successfully all you need to just wait for a little while it will show up so the ethereum you breached will be showing up all you need to just to you know make a trade when we make trade on decentralized trading platforms like uniswap and sushi swap and the rest so all you need to do is to come here leave it at market don't leave it at limit leave it at market put the number of ethereum that you want to use to trade just swap the ethereum from to usdc so once you swap it you also swap it back to it or you need to just perform a transaction for for your wallet to be showing that your wallet has actually you know interacted with this zigzag exchange just swap it back and swap and swap it back again just very simple you just have to pay 12 cents in gas fee you can see it down here that's just very small gas fee that's one of the beautiful things about ethereum layer 2 scaling solution you have to pay lower transaction fees so just do swap in and swap back and that's just one of the simple ways for you to achieve this so after that the next thing for you to do is for us to go to the next thing which i'm going to be showing you so we are done with zk sync 1.0 mainnet now the next thing is to go to zk sync 2.0 error mainnet for us to be able to perform the same transaction we did on the 1.0 so the next thing for you to do is just to withdraw your ethereum that is on layer 2 back to layer 1 the first step is for you to click on transfer once you click on transfer you click on transfer to ethereum so once you click on transfer to ethereum then this is where you put in the amount you want to send it as you can see right here i don't have any ethereum on my layer 2 which is zk sync layer 2 so you type in the amount then you click on send so it will just charge you transaction fee but remember it will take up to maybe two to three hours for the for all the confirmation and all the everything the network confirmations and everything to be done before your ethereum appears on your layer one so you need to exercise patience and just relax you're not making mistakes just follow these steps put the amount you want to send in if you're sending everything just type in max then click on send to ethereum so you can see what is showing me here wrong amount impute because i don't have any ethereum on my zk sync 1.0 mainnet so it's very simple so let's go to the next step which is going to zk sync 2.0 mainnet perform the same transaction so you can actually get eligible for this coming airdrop this is zk sync 2.0 mainnet you can actually find this by going to the website called portal.zksync.io now this is where you find yourself now what are we doing here you are going to do the same thing that we do previously by bridging your ethereum from layer one to layer two but this time around we're bridging it to zk sync 2.0 mainnet so as you can see i have a kind of like balance of one dollar 12 cents because i've actually performed some transaction here about a few days ago for me to show you how this thing work so you can actually do the same thing so once you find yourself here just go to the option of bridge. So once you come to the option of bridge, what are you doing? You're bridging your term from layer one to layer two. So all you need to do is to put the amount. If you have, let's say 0 
you can see you can see once you click on it you click on deposit it will still you just need to do the same thing very simple do some confirmation network confirmation and so many things for the uh, ethereum to you know arrive on your layer two so as you can see you are paying just four dollar for the line transaction fee so you can see all you need to just click on confirm but i'm not doing that because i've actually done that this is me showing you what to do for you to get eligible for this upcoming airdrop now after doing that you need to wait up to five minutes you can see up to five minutes for your ethereum to appear on your layer two but the next thing is for you to go to you know interact with the ecosystem in this 2.0 mainnet so this is where you go to you can see zk sync ecosystem so once you click on it it will take you to a different website that will show you all the zk sync you know ecosystem all the adapts that are working with zk sync so once you come here there are so many of them but i'm going to show you the easiest one but all of, you can see the, some of them have live on error meaning that some of them are already working some of them are not yet working so if you, if you try as many all of them that is working you stand the chance to be able to make more money from the airdrop based on you're going to get more airdrop but i'm going to be showing you the ones that i did that are very simple that you can just do so you can easily qualify for this airdrop you can scroll down to see many of them but you can choose to do it all of them i'm going to show you the ones that i did so if you can if you want to do all of them it's fine you can actually interact with all of these dApps if you know how to use them so i'm going to be showing you the one i used and the one that i am I'm, that, that are really you know very easy to you know to assess so let me show you all of them right now. So these are some of the applications you can access on the ZK Sync 2.0 mainnet, which is the ERA mainnet. So now this is what to do. Just go to this website, onchain.trade. I'm gonna also make the link available in the description. These are some of the dApps you can interact with on their 2.0 mainnet. So all you need to do is just to connect your wallet. As you can see, ERA mainnet, which is ZK Sync. There's no other network is supporting at the moment. So this is what the same thing we did on the zigzag exchange for us to be able to interact with this decentralized application by you know swapping our Ethereum back to usdc and usdc back to our Ethereum. exactly the same thing we did previously on the zigzag exchange so it's very simple to do so i need to once your Ethereum is confirmed they have successfully bridged it from layer one to your layer two this is when you start doing all of these transactions so all you need to just to put just a little figure maybe whatever item you wish to want to you know practice this is very easy to do so after doing this let's just select you select a usdc for example let's select usdc so after doing this you just do swap and do some you know network confirmation once it confirms you're just paying a little bit gas fee that is the only thing you're investing in this you know a lot of people say that airdrop is free it's not, it's not actually free to you know looking at it because you have to pay gas fees so after interacting with onchain.trade you need to go to the next app which is sync syncswap.xyz so once you come to syncswap.xyz like, like i said you are going to do the same thing by swapping your ethereum to you know usdc by putting all of your ethereum just put it on max you can just do some uh, let me show you how this one work let's see if this one work let's see like you can see i'm swapping it right now very simple very easy so this is just very simple i'm just using the little money on my you know on my zk sync 2.0 to be able to show you how this thing is done so just have to wait for the network confirmation so you can proceed as you can see i don't have a sufficient money to confirm this transaction i can click on reject click on reject so i'm rejecting it because i don't have money in the layer to in the main net so the next app we are actually interacting with is Mint Swap. You can check it out. Mint Swap, sorry, MintSquare.io. So MintSquare.io just connects your wallet, and you actually mint some NFT by scrolling down. You can just uh, you know explore. Like let's say for example, you want to explore, mint some NFT of your choice. I think I have some NFT here. I've actually mint some. I think that's why it's not showing me the option of minting. Because I've actually made some NFT when I did my own uh, a few days ago. I've actually made some NFT. But you see an option of for you to, you know, mint your NFT beside this Explore. I've actually made my own. That is why it's not showing me that option. You see an option of minting NFT right here. All you need is just to upload any picture of your choice. 
give it a name you know once you give it a name then you uh, put the description and pay gas fees the gas fees is around 15 cents it's not that expensive for you to mint your own nft very easy for you to use i've actually mint my own nft that's why it's not giving me that option to mint nft then the next app we're actually interacting with is orbiter dot finance this is orbiter bridge all right once you come to orbiter dot finance this is when you bridge to networks to networks they are bridging your ethereum from ethereum network to any other network of your choice you can bridge from ethereum network to arbitron network which is the one i recommend or you bridge your ethereum to you know maybe zk sync any of your choice or zk light any of your choice you can actually do the same all you need to do just to you know bridge the same thing we did when we are doing the 1.0 mainnet of zk sync and the 2.0 mainnet of zk sync so all you need to do just to bridge your ethereum and do some network confirmation once it's approved they've actually interacted with at least four different applications that are already running on zk sync mainnet so with this you stand the chance to be eligible for the upcoming airdrop now guys this airdrop is going to be very big because i i also know that you know zk sync has a lot of funding so it's going to make sense so all you need to do is just to do all of these things to participate in this airdrop all right for you to be able to get your your ethereum back so let me show you how to get your ethereum back because it is very simple let's say for example after you are done with all of these applications you have interacted with all of these applications so how do you get your ethereum back to your ethereum layer one blockchain so once you come here you go to bridge you go to bridge then you go to withdraw go to withdraw so you put in the amount of ethereum that you have already sent on the zk sync era mainnet you put in all of them you click on max so once you click on max you just wait for some confirmation but i want you to pay attention to what is written here to ensure security in the first days of the protocol there is up to 24 hour delay on withdrawals from zk sync era layer 2 to ethereum layer 1 see our blog post you can actually check out their blog post to read why those things are happening so let me talk about my experience when i did this it took up it took over 24 hours you can see they said up to 24 hours my own was about 24 hours 13 minutes before i was able to get my ethereum so i'm just letting you guys to know about this so that when you were doing this you just have to exercise patience so if you want if you want to see if you want to see uh you know where you to check if your your ethereum uh is how he's transacting or how he's verifying you need to go to a website called zk sync explorer so if you go to zk sync explorer you put in your ethereum address so if you put in your ethereum address you can be able to show you what is happening whether it has already been confirming or whether it's still verifying so this is the website for you to be able to check what is happening i'm talking about when you're already you're trying to send your ethereum from the layer two back to layer one putting in into this place by putting your wallet address here and hitting the search button it will show you what is actually happening you can see so many people are doing this transaction below here you can see interacting you can see just now a lot of people are taking advantage of this so this is also an opportunity for you to take advantage of this airdrop so you can actually make good money out of it all right thank you for watching this video i'm going to be making another video on how you can participate on the layer zero airdrop you can't miss that video guys you need to stay connected i'm going to make a video about layer zero and stacknet you know airdrop and so many other airdrop coming up in this channel all you need to do just to stay connected click the like button click on the subscribe button and turn on the post notification